back, if you look at the larger pool of people, of talented people in this country, whether it's students on postgraduate work permits, whether it's asylum seekers that now have a work permit, there is a pool of talent in the country that is not matching their, having their skills matched with, with the labor needs. And instead of going abroad, first look at the pool that increases, uh, that is continually increasing in this country that's already here and employing them uh, when it comes to asylum seekers, obviously as a matter of dignity, but also getting uh, a few bucks into their pockets and getting them on the process of integration. So that's an important societal measure, but it also makes economic sense. And um, what we're asking our own departments, but also our provincial and territorial counterparts, is when they have the responsibility of selecting individuals to take that step further and start looking at the domestic pool that already increases. Take, for example, the very large pool of international students with postgraduate work permits that are perhaps underemployed or not employed at all. This is a young cohort of the population that has spent a number of years here, so is on the path to integration that perhaps has a pathway to permanent residency, knowing that they're not necessarily entitled to it in the first place. So just to look at the people that are here temporarily and see if the provinces can use their numbers that they are allocated to draw on that pool of talent so that you're not creating that carry-on ripple effect of a new entrant into the economy affecting the, how, the cost of shelter. It just makes sense uh, and it's something we need to get smarter at given the volume that's here presently that's moved from uh, a couple percentage points now out to well over 6.2 percent. So what I'm announcing today is a target that reduces that 6.2 percent, that 6 percent reality that we face today to 5 percent over, over the next three years. But I need to work with my provincial counterparts really to target that because there can be there can be very dam damaging consequences if we do this in uh, in in a rather brute or rough manner without really using a, a set of tools that are more refined to tailor uh, really what we are trying to attack with what we are actually doing.